Hi friends, it's Wendy Bannell, your favorite realtor. Um, as an accredited buyer's rep, I think it's important for me to talk to you about the Rent to Own program. I've gotten a lot of questions and so I want to make sure I answer your questions and um, you know that this is an opportunity that you can take advantage of. The Rent to Own program is for buyers that are credit challenged or aren't able to get a regular mortgage. You need to have a 550 credit score, which is uh, a lot more doable versus the 600 or the 620 credit score that you need for a regular mortgage. You'd also need to have a down payment. So there are a lot of people that are credit challenged. They have the money to put down, but maybe they're self-employed and so their tax returns don't show that. This is a great program for you. Please watch through this and let's see if we can get you to write your rental check for yourself and not for the landlord. Let's talk about renting to own and what you can do today to own the home you are renting. Why own instead of rent? Well, that's a good question. Owning a home is a long-term investment. If you put your money in a savings account, you expect it to grow with interest. But that is such a small amount, especially right now. Saving in something else would be better for you. So your home will appreciate in value. If you buy it at $100,000 and in five years the value is at $120,000, then you can sell it and keep the $20,000 profit. You can also build equity in your home. The money you put into your home, you should be able to get back out again when you sell it. There are possible tax benefits with interest paid on your loan and uh, the property taxes that you pay. If you're in your own home, you have greater privacy. Your monthly loan payments will stay the same every year until you pay the loan off. No changing year after year and going up. And then there's just stability for your life. There's no reason to move from rental to rental if you're already in the home you love. How does rent to owning work? First, when you purchase the house, you'll have a down payment. That down payment will go into a savings account that represents the equity or how much you own in that house. There are no other fees only the down payment so you're not going to be nickeled and dime when you go to s s closing it's just the down payment there's no rental application fee it's just the down payment after you move into the house and start making monthly rental payments a part of your monthly payment goes into that equity savings account again and continually builds with each payment the ownership you have in that account so your monthly rental payments might be a little higher than you would usually pay for rent, but that's because we're forcing you to put a little bit aside for when you buy the house in your name. After three years, we'll do a loan in your name using all of the equity that you've built up in your house. The house will then be in your name and if and when you go to sell the house, you'll be able to keep the equity savings and the appreciation value of your house. If you're able to be approved for the loan before the three years is up, you can still get your own loan. You don't have to wait the three years, but three years seems to be a good amount of time to get you ready for doing a loan in your name. If you decide that you don't want or can't live in the home anymore, then you can cash out the equity that you've built up in the house. How does the process work? It starts with the rental application. You complete an application just like you would if you were going to move into an apartment or another rental home. You'll need a minimum credit score of 550. If you're self-employed, we can use the deposits to your checking account as proof of income, but you will need to have the $5,000 to put down. That's the amount right now um, because of the whole pandemic atmosphere. That might change later, but for right now, you need the $5,000 to put down. So basically, if you don't have enough credit for a mortgage um, or the mortgage wants you to have verifiable income, but you have a big down payment, renting to own is great for you. After the application is approved, I'll be able to know how much you're approved for, and I'll be able to start getting some houses together for you. I cannot start the search process until we have your rental application approved. Next, we go and look for a home. 
I'll do a quick interview with you to determine what you need and want in a home for you and your family. I will ask you about the part of town you want to live in. What areas do you need to stay close to? Then I'll send you a list of homes that meets your requirements. You'll look at the list, you'll choose a few, and we'll go look at the houses in a safe way that conforms to all social distancing and social responsibilities. When we've decided on the house, I will negotiate for you with the seller. When the seller accepts, we will do an inspection to make sure you're buying a home that's in good condition for you. We'll also make sure the home receives a complete cleaning. Finally, we will close on the home and you'll get your keys. Then you'll have a home to call your own and be proud. So, if you're ready to own your own home, Give me a call or email me. You can call or text me at 469-438-7370 or you can email me at wendynewhomes at gmail.com or you can shoot me a Facebook message at facebook.com slash newhomeswendy. I look forward to putting my expertise at work for you.